Okay, something happened and I got cut off. Um, this was the last page that you saw in hell with the spirits. Um, after that, there are no new pages. This is just uh, the herbs. And uh, you've already seen them in the previous, page, uh, previous videos. So um, now I wanted to talk about the story that I was talking about in, the, in part one. Um, here it is. And in the meantime, you can look at um, a page that I haven't finished. This one. So, the story about the wolf. I have to translate so it's not going to sound that fluently. Okay. I never thought things could get so wrong this fast, but as a witch, you'll always have to be careful. When I woke up that day, the house was so cold, but the day before, there, were, there was no time to get wood because I was busy preparing myself for the village party. Lizzie had stopped by the house to help me with my dress. After the death of my parents, she was be she had been a very big support and the dress was beautiful um, with a new ribbon around my waist and frills on the hem my mother would have been so proud my hair was in a small bun with loose curls before I was going to leave she stopped me to put some more rouge on my cheeks. Nothing foreshadows what was going to happen. I love the, the parties up in the village with their charm and coziness. We walked through the halls and could hear the guests already. The party had been something I've been thinking about for a long time. My father's warm coat was hidden in a closet and Lizzie and I walked to our friends. They were laughing and drinking and waving at us, but Jackson turned his face around and walked away and walked to his parents. He never really liked me. I saw him with his father talking, and then they turned around and looked at me at the exact same time and stared at me with a look that i never seen before, cold, like I was a danger to them. Weird, but Lizzie gave me a glass of wine and apparently someone had told a joke because everyone had started laughing. The night was like a dream, but still I kept thinking about Jackson and his father. They kept looking at me and more men surrounded them. Nervously, I looked at Lizzie who had been a social butterfly the entire evening, but now she noticed the strange looks from the men and their strange behavior. She knew exactly what, what was happening. They knew. Lizzie nodded at the entrance and I followed her. When we finally had time to talk, she looked at me with fear in her eyes. You have to run. So now I'm running with only my father's coat to keep me warm. If I can reach the forest, I'll be safe. But the fresh snow is making it very difficult. The, the forest will protect me with its ancient power that has been flowing through the earth and trees for so long. The men are getting closer. And I've been running so long that the pain in my side is going to eventually stop me. The forest is going to have to come to me. I fall on my knees and channel my power and reach into the forest and ask for help. The men are going to ha want to catch me alive because alive they can torture me and 
and make me betray my sisters. I'm so close. I can feel the energy connecting until I get kicked in the back of the head. My arms are being folded on my back and my hands are bound. When they pull me up, I see the darkness of the forest, but I also see two yellow eyes staring at me. I smile because I know what's going to happen. The men don't notice and congratulate each other because the witch is caught, they think. But suddenly they stop because they see what I've been looking at. Strengthened by my new power that is flowing through my veins, I break the ropes and call with a strong voice, a powerful voice. Wolf, blood of my blood, save me. And this is a story that um, I dreamt up to sort of explain how witches can connect to animals. And, um, and nowadays we don't really have to or need to, but I, I believe that a long time ago when life was very difficult and much harder than we have how we live our lives right now um, maybe the the witches actually needed to connect with animals to connect with their energy horses that suddenly got scared and started running and um, to calm them or dangerous animals that need to be calmed down or um, animals that are dying that you want to help so they can peacefully cross over it. So I, this is a story that I, uh, that I wanted in my book of shadows. And I hope you liked it. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video. I promise I'll, I'm not gonna keep you waiting um, for as long as I did before, I'll try to make more videos because, um, yeah, videos are fun, but sometimes life happens. But I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night or day.